Hey, I'm Master Dan, and welcome back to Taekwondo Lifestyle. Um, recently, I uh, was at the doctor's office, and I'm friends with a the nurse there, and she knows that I'm into martial arts, and she asked me tips about what should she do if somebody was to grab her purse, steal her purse, and run off. Yeah! yeah. All right, before we get any further, I uh, just want to remind you, if you do like this video, to please click the like button. If you want to see more content like this, uh, click the subscribe. All right, so I was at the doctor's office, and my nurse went asking me about self-defense. Do I like doing self-defense? I'm like, yeah, I enjoy it. I said, it's not really my specialty. I said, but I enjoy doing self-defense. I mean, who don't like punching somebody and throwing them around? So she asked me, she said, what should I do? if uh, I'm out somewhere and somebody uh, grabs my purse. I'm like, so they grab your purse and they run away, what? She's like, no, what happens? What should I do if they grab my purse? I'm like, run. They grabbed your purse, they snatched it and they run off. Be glad they did not physically attack you. They wanted your money or they want whatever the contents in the purse is, they're desperate. They got what they wanted, they run. They ran away, you run the opposite way. And it's just like, why would I do that? And it's simple. There's nothing in your purse worth your life. I mean, how many people do you love? How many people do you want to see again? If you chase them, they could be a caged animal. They could have had a knife on them. They could have had a gun on them. You chase them, with you get them to the point where they're cornered and they turn to fight are you prepared to fight i mean is that what you want because very rarely does somebody snatch something from you and you chase them and they throw it back okay so first of all you should be prepared for this and by be prepared i don't mean go take self-defense classes because really self-defense classes will give you a false sense of security all right you can learn how to throat punch somebody. You can learn to gouge the eyes. Really what they're teaching you is to calm down and stuff you can do out of desperation pretty much when your life is on the line. All right. But as far as the purse snatching, first of all, don't put your car keys and your house keys in your purse. Put them in your pocket. Have them on you. Preferably your phone too. Don't put your phone in your purse. Why? One, you're, you can use your phone as a flashlight if the lights are out when you have to go to your car. And two, you do not want to be fumbling through your purse to find your keys when you're trying to get in your car in the dark in the first place. So you can have your purse, if it's a danger and you're scared somebody's going to snatch it, you can put it over your head. That way if they snatch it, they're going to have to break it to get it off of you. Second, if they do snatch it and break it, you have your keys, you can get in your car and lock the door and call the police. There's no need to risk your life trying to get your purse back. Yes, it, it's, it's a huge inconvenience. You have to change all your credit cards. Well, what about if, if I don't have the credit card, I don't have the little 1-800 number to call and get it changed? Write that crap down now while we're talking about it. After the video, make you a list and don't save it in your phone because if they take your phone, then you still don't have your list. Make you a list at home with all your credit card numbers and the 1-800 numbers to call and get them changed. Don't have it in, don't have it in your purse unless you're in a super sexy black dress because you're out on your anniversary and it has to go in into a clutch. Okay, and then you're going to have your husband with you and you're probably not going to be targeted because your husband's a big, handsome, bad mofo just like me. And if that don't get a like for me, I don't know what is. All right, but what did we learn from this talk? Keys in your pocket. Phone, preferably in your pocket. Don't have them in your bag. If they snatch your bag, let them have it. They need it worse than you because uh, their, their drug dealer does not usually take credit uh, run away screaming attract attention don't be embarrassed somebody steals your stuff you're scared for your life 
scream your bloody head off. Get away from them. I don't want you to get hurt because if you get hurt, who's going to watch my videos? All right, anyway, I'm Master Dan. This is Take One Do Lifestyle, and we will keep you kicking.